Hello everybody, this is Zachary Galani on the YouTube channel. Teacher Zachary One, I have some news for you, some news for you, and some news for you today. Uh, a lot of things have been buzzing us with social media about uh, this man, Baltimore man, beat up a teacher, try to beat up a teacher with a baseball bat but after inappropriately text his daughter. I'm gonna read an article, and I'll give you my um, my give take. But uh, the article will be in the description box of Facebook. Yeah, it'll be not Facebook, YouTube. I mean, it'll be in the description box. It was infuriating enough to the parents of a Baltimore high school student that her teacher was sending inappropriate texts to their daughter. But it's quite another level that the teacher showed up to the family home the very next day after the parents discovered the text message and the teacher refused to leave the house. That's when the father blacked out and responded with violence. We're going to talk about that in a second. The Perry High School teacher 42 came to the parents home to speak to the daughter about speak to the daughter but efforts were rebuilt and the father told to disappear when he refused he pleaded with the father to talk to his daughter. The father must have saw red because he grabbed the nearest destruction instrument, a baseball bat, to betray the teacher's leave and striking the teacher and caused a minor injury. The student mother called the Baltimore police and when the uh, parents showed him the text and inquiry, teacher, student to be gay. Engaging. Police officer said to the police officer to watch Mark's position. Read over a dozen texts describing a multiple relationship that seemed inappropriate for a teacher student. But according to the Baltimore County Police Department, the girl alerted the police about to text at 3 p.m. at the precinct. Baltimore police d declined to release the name of the teacher nor the family involved in the phrases. The teacher did not file charges for the assault. We're going to talk about that in a second. But his behavior is being investigated by the Baltimore. Police Department children, uh, Crimes Against Children Unit. Meanwhile, the teacher should be feel lucky that he escaped with minor energy, injury. So far, the investigators have no evidence that a sexual relationship in relations between the teacher and the student. Okay. Let me click off of this. No sexual relationship with the student. It deemed inappropriate text that I felt, I feel, and a lot of social media are feeling that this father should get father of the year, this father should not go to jail, this father should not do this, this father should be giving the heroes uh, the hero thing. No, he should not get the hero welcoming. He should not get father to hear. He's been violent. It'd be one thing that if he is sexually assaulting a, uh, uh, her or sending her pictures of his genital or saying he want to have sexual relations with the student, then that's one thing. It's inappropriate. I can understand it's inappropriate, but it's a thin line between inappropriate and actually doing actually uh, act, actually doing something like that. What I'm trying to say to you before you jump the gun, that go for parents and caregivers. Check out the situation first before you grab a, a blunt object and do that. Because instead of California, if you if we'd have been in California, pressing charges or not, that's assault with deadly weapon and attempted murder. Because you use deadly force. Hopefully this teacher don't get. Hopefully this teacher just sending pictures about his pro sending inappropriate text messages about his problem and that would be that but other social media is saying he should get father of the year he should get this he should get that on youtube no he should not get father of the year i get what you're saying i agree with you saying about they should not be doing it because it's inappropriate but it's another thing is if you're going to teach your child not to be around 
be around uh, be around people not their own Hey, you need to teach your child to have composure when you get angry and upset because they could go either way. He could have murdered a person, and then after that, we won't know that he sent an inappropriate text or not. And then when they find out that he didn't send an inappropriate text, you killed somebody, and nothing. You killed somebody because of the fact of the matter you thought they sent an inappropriate text. Y'all can, you probably y'all are gonna say, oh, you don't know this, you don't know how to raise kids. That's what it is. I feel that it, it could have got handled in a different way than what it what it is. And it said the father black out and respond with violence. So you, so basically, it, you saying it's it giving him justification. That it's okay for him to swing somebody with a baseball bat because he black out with violence. None of them got arrested, not the father or not the teacher. The teacher to press charge. Because if he does that, what do you think if what do you think if your daughter have a boyfriend that the father don't approve of? Then what? The father gonna do the same thing? Get a baseball bat or get a blunt object and tell him to go away? Because the next time the father does it or next time he does it, it gonna be what? It gonna be a bullet in his ass. It's one thing to do, it, but you hit an unarmed man. I'm all for protecting yourself and protecting the interests of it, but if he's not, if he's not doing nothing in a threatening manner. And all he said he want to do this, and he said no, he can't, and he's not being in a threatening manner. You should not be a the aggressor in a threatening manner and say, okay, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna do him in a threatening manner because of my daughter. We don't know if it's sexual. It's inappropriate for a child, to, for an adult to talk to a child about their problem, about their problem that's pertaining to not, not pertaining to school. Is this being sexual? No. Would he go to jail for it? No. Because we didn't hear anything that caused it sexual. All they said is send an inappropriate text message. You have other shows. I'm not going to say their names because they're on YouTube. You have other shows saying, well, he should do this or he should do that. Oh, well, good job, father. Good job. No. It's not a good job. No, it tells society that it's okay to attack people if they hurt people. No, it's not. It's not okay. It's not okay at all to have violence or attack people because uh, it probably is a big misunderstanding. What if it was a misunderstanding? What if you get cleared the charges? Then you'll be one particular idiot because of the fact of the matter that he's not a pedophile. He's not this, but he's not that. If it, if it comes out to be like that. If it comes out to be like that, I agree with you that he shouldn't did it, but I also would disagree. If you're gonna teach your sons or your daughter your examples and you need to live by lead by examples, then you can't sit here and say, Oh, he did this or he did that, so that's why I did it. That's what that's why I did that's why I did it. Because if he does it before, he can do it again. If he does it again, he can do it again and again and again. And then what stopping him from doing it to her boyfriend? If, if it's not the right boy that he is, or what? It is, that's what the situation is about. And that's what I'm greatly concerned about. If he have violence to him and he's gonna try to kill him with minor energy, he don't want to press charges. He's scared. It doesn't mean he's a pedophile, he means he's scared of the person. And he's like, oh, why shouldn't he? So basically you say he deserved to get hit in the head with a baseball bat, that's what you're saying? If we're going to teach our kids to stay away from people like that, you have to look at it in two different ways. And this is what I look at it. You may not like what I have to say. This is going to be a very short video. We're going to, I'm, it's going to end. There, there's a way. You should not have your child to have a cell phone. And if you get a cell phone, you should not have it to, you're going to have text anyway. You should monitor, you should monitor, monitor the call. And, and the third thing is, you're saying 
You want the te people say have the teacher resign? No. Why are you going to resign? We don't hear. We didn't hear nothing in this article saying that such and sexual. All we hear is inappropriate. Y'all jumping on a bandwagon and say, "Oh, it's sexual." And then when your your facts wrong, you had to go back on here and say, "Oh, it's not sexual. It's this, is that, and the other." What's your take on it? Because I'm tired of these independent media things saying it's okay for a person to do to, to, to do violence and instill violence in the people, and it's okay to do that, but there's no consequence and repercussion for the people that do the violence. So it's okay. Okay, I see it's your kid, but there's other legal recourse that you could take to um, to protect and safeguard your children. Violence is not the only solution for you, the only way for you to get your point of violence is not the order. You know, tired of independent media is saying violence is the right way to do it because it's not. I guarantee you, if it would have happened in the state of California, they would have took it. And they, they would not care if he would not press charges. The police would press charges and the DA would press charges because he was unarmed. That's in California. That is uh, that's a, that is the 241B, which is assault with a deadly weapon. Doesn't matter if he if he if he's seeing red in it. So the justification of that it is. So you gonna see red if your daughter come home with the type of guy that you do not consider uh, guy material. That's all I have to say about the video. You can read, you can read the information. You can read the information of the article in the description box of um, YouTube. What do you have to say? I want a political argument about this situation. What do you do? I'd like to hear your commentary uh, in your comment below and subscribe to my channel.